Life is short. We're like a mist. We're here today and gone tomorrow. But I believe there's more to life than just things. We have a purpose. My life made a turn when I was touched by God. I gave my life to Christ and I was never the same person ever again. I believe we can be used by God to impact the world we live in, even after we're long gone. God called me into the full-time ministry in 2002, and I had the privilege of being part of reaching the lost and making disciples, especially among the youth and young professionals. My family moved to the States in 2007, where we helped plant a church in Orlando, Florida. With just 15 of us, the church grew to over 2,000 people today. A couple of years before the pandemic, God called us back to the Philippines. The pandemic was such that no one has ever experienced before. Estimating that 1,500 people, 20,000, more than 46,000, 150,000, 200,000, 400,000 people have died. estimate of close to 15 million global deaths due to COVID-19. Businesses closed, institutions collapsed, and churches were not exempt from it. It was during the height of the pandemic when the world was on lockdown, small church ministries began. We met online through Zoom with a handful of people, four to be exact, and the rest was history. Our groups grew to more than 400 people online. When the doors were finally opened to meet physically again, we planted a church in the most progressive city in the Philippines, the province of Pampanga. Why Pampanga? In the heart of Pampanga was the former and largest military base outside of the United States. Clark Freeport Zone. It is becoming the hub for all major businesses and schools and government offices in the entire Philippines. It will be the future. While this is true, it is also home to the country's next generation of leaders and world changers. Just like any society, depression with youth, identity crisis, unsolicited pregnancies, drugs, corruption and many more have plagued the leaders of tomorrow. More than ever, we need a movement that would assist in the building, equipping, and development of these young people. Character formation, personal skills and development, education, and a strong adherence to values. We need them to be healthy, spiritually, relationally, physically, and financially. It is the vision and mission of Small Church Ministries to do just that. What started over 20 years ago continues on, now in the heart of Pampanga. Since the inception of Small Church Ministries, just a little less than a year ago, we have began the movement. Here are some people that we have touched. Because of you, our marriage got stronger. And because of you, our family has become closer to God. Because of you, we serve the Lord as one family. Because of you, my friends and my family's relationship with God became stronger. We became closer to the Lord. Small Church Ministries has inspired me to read the Bible from cover to cover this year. I am victorious in Christ. I have a strong foundation with the Lord. More faith in God. I have a new family here. Yung mami ko ngayon nakakapag-attend na ng church. It's more easier for us to understand God's Word. Because of you, we learn to love, love people, people more. more. I am healed. Because of you, we are able to reach out to families and make disciples. I have been freed from addiction. I have been healed. I found my purpose. Napalapit ako sa Diyos. I am a new creation in Christ. I am victorious in the Lord. We are grateful to you. We appreciate you. We can't do it without you. I'm grateful to you. Nakala salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat ng mura. Daghang salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are very grateful.
Thank you so much for believing in us and trusting in us. And thank you for praying for us and partnering with us. I accepted Jesus because of you.